thought I'd leave that if I were you, Dad. Found it in the skanky cupboard. Ta-da! Oh. Worth every penny, huh? Wow, if that doesn't blow everyone at the cafe opening away, I don't know what will. It better. The photographer's coming tonight, so everything has to be perfect. You're working pretty hard on this thing, aren't you? I have to. Robbo said he'd help me, but... Oh, my God. Actually, where is Robbo? Did I? Man, you should see the view up here. It's awesome. Oh, um, you didn't manage to find Sleeping Dog while you were unpacking, did you? Sleeping Dog? I thought you gave him up yonks ago. I did. I just... I'd like to know where he is, that's all. Friends call me Ty. What's your real name? Ty. That's why they call me it. Huh. I'm Robbo. Call me Robbo. How do we get down from here, by the way? Mate, I wouldn't have a clue. I've been stuck up here for hours. Couldn't you have told me before I climbed up? Yeah, probably could have. You're right. It is a great view. That it is, mate. That it is. I used to think that you were cool, that you close to me. Where's your head? Oh, can I help you? No, I'm just looking. So grand opening tonight. I know. My mum has an invite. She owns the hotel. You know, she's paying your dad. Basically, she's his boss. My dad's his own boss. How do you expect to do any business here? The beach is just so dead. My dad says at least it doesn't stink like the hotel beach. <laughs> the hotel has a million cafes. Proper ones. You'll never beat my mum. Um, I like your jandals, they're pretty fancy. Oh, these old things? And I like your... Totally gross, ultra-dirty feet. <clears throat> Bit old for toys, aren't you? Oh, that, it's just... It's, um, it's my dad's. It's my dad. Toys. Stupid rubbish boat. I would not believe the amount of business I have lost since that rock started going black and stinking. Believe me, it's been a lot. And of course, the longer it goes on, the more I lose. Well, I'll do my best. I'm sure you will. After all, I hear you are the foremost expert on sea stuff. I said to myself, well, if he can't fix that rock, I don't know who can. Coral. What? It's just you keep calling it a rock. It's not really a rock, it's a coral. Well, they're both. Hard, aren't they? Yes, but a coral is a hard calcareous substance secreted by certain marine coal entrants as an external skeleton. And a rock rock. Mm -hmm. They are both hard, yes. That's what I thought. Well, I'll expect your report soon then. <laughs> Hey, 
I'm Ty, by the way. Right. Uh, so you live on the island? Yeah, I do now. I was born here, but been in New Zealand since I was little. Came back for a bit of freedom, you know? Play by my own rules, live on my wits. Roll the dice of fate and take a chance. Yeah, Ty's easily led. Fell in with a bad crowd. So now he's making a fresh start with his grandma. That sounds like fun. It is, honest. She's easygoing and a complete nut. She thinks all the island's crazy myths and legends are, like, true. Don't touch that, Ty. Wow, you are easily led. I was wondering, did you... Did you unpack sleeping dog? Did I unpack sleeping dog? <laughs> no, sorry, sis. Haven't seen him. Let's get in the water. delightful day. Oh, excuse me. Uh, may I inquire as to whom was diving here earlier? Perhaps diving near the coral? Victoria! You want to know what that disgusting smell out there is all about? You and your tourists. My family have been looking after this island for generations. But you people, you come here and you completely ignore the way we do things. Now the island's telling you to go away. Is that right? Hey, Mum. I've just been down to the cafe and I have to say, it's looking pretty good. Abby, I'll be with you in a second. I'm just dealing with this basket case. Kangaro te tangata. Possessions are temporary, Victoria, but the island will be here for a long time, and that needs to be respected. Cora, you can believe whatever you want, but to me that sounds like a bunch of mumbo-jumbo garbage. You must listen to me. No, Cora, you must listen to me. Now, the official line is that the coral has been damaged by an oil leak, and if you <laughs> don't mind, I'm sticking with that. Now, kia ora na, and have a nice day. Turn, man. Wait. Come on. Go one each. Okay. Good shot, mate. <laughs> hey. Oh, well done. Now you've broken it. Oh, 
Hi, was that you? Oh. I don't think so. Mm. I'll grab a cloth. Definitely wasn't me. Give me my heart! Ah! Dad, Dad, you don't believe what happened, okay? The arcade game turned off. Because the plug was out. And he fell over, the boy, I mean. And they thought it was me, but it wasn't. I mean, why would I? And then the tablecloth just totally flew off. And it was just us there, remember? So that was weird. And then this voice shouted, Whoa, whoa, whoa guys. You can see I'm busy here, can't you? No, Dad, honestly, it was a ghost. I saw the footprints. Megan? You know how I feel about that kind of stuff, don't you? But, Dad, listen. Megan, no. First you're upset about a sleeping dog getting lost. Now it's imaginary ghosts. Look, I know we're a long way from home, but, you know, come on. No one's ever going to believe us, are they? No. No adults, at least. What about your grandma, Ty? I don't know. Folks around here think she's pretty crazy enough already. She starts going on about ghosts. They'll lock her up for sure. Hello? Anyone home? Lose a girl. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're running towards the screams of terror. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Just what kind of crazy operation are you running here? I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> What's so funny, hamster face? It's just saying, looks like you used too much hair gel there. <laughs> I don't know much about fashion. Yes, I can see that. Oh, she got you, bro. What are you talking about? These threads are cool. <laughs> oh. Chloe, I was just wondering if any of you fellows happened to have been diving in the sea earlier this afternoon. You talk weird. Are you not even wondering why we're hiding behind the counter? Listen, let me handle this. Yeah, that was us babes. We surf, we dive, we do all sorts of crazy extreme stuff to the max. What of it? <laughs> my heart is here! Give my heart back to me! Oh, yeah. By the way, there's a ghost loose in the cafe. Oh. Oh, that is an unfortunate. Listen, this heart thing, what if he means the cafe? Yeah, yeah, like, maybe it was his when he was alive, he totally loved it, and now he wants it back. If that's the case, I say do it. This place is a dump anyway. No, not after all the effort I put in and getting it ready for the party. Maybe I should fight him for it, eh? Fight? Rob, are you crazy? I say we run for our lives. Who's with me? Well, perhaps if someone was simply to ask him what he wants. Great idea. Allow me. Bro, be careful. What are you two, married? <clears throat> he uh, didn't really feel like a chap. <laughs> right, that's it. Just give him the cafe back, Megan. But Princess Slimepants is right. We're just a bunch of kids. We don't stand a chance against a real live ghost. But what if we, like, organise and stuff? Organise what? Ghostbusters? Whoa, did you guys see that? Quick, put some glasses on the counter. Is that 
creepy or what? It's like the water reveals how he really is or something. Hey, good one, Ty. I have my moments. If you don't bring me my heart before the clock strikes five, I will do terrible things to you, this tavern, and anyone in it. That means the cafe isn't as hot. It must be something else. Right, it's 4.30 now. People are going to start arriving any minute for the party. If he goes on the rampage, it'll be all over the paper that the cafe's haunted. We have to beat this. We'll work together. <laughs> Count me out. I am not part of this loser crew. Count me in. We can do this. <laughs> I'll search Paradise Cafe, Tavern and Heart. I've got 200,000 hits. My gosh, when did that happen? Are you hurt? It's him, Hector LaRoche, owner of a tavern on Paradise Island. Renowned for the stunningly detailed models he built there. I really don't see anything useful here, Megan. No. The boat is his heart. And I know exactly where it is. Should I maybe come back later? Oh, no. We're looking for the ship. Help us. No way. Very amusing. Oh. I want results, and I want them quick. Find out what is making that coral stink and make it stop before my hotel loses any more money. And what are you doing here? Look at your filthy clothes. Abby, money doesn't grow on trees, you know. That photo will make front page. I bet. Are you sure it won't make the cafe look bad? Heck no. Half the people on this island can't stand my mum. I think you've got a head on your hands. It's cool that you came back. <laughs> I totally knew you gumps would need all the help you could get. Totally. <laughs> oh, thank you. 
sorry it took so long. You're a good girl, young Megan. We appreciate it. This cafe was built on the site of my tavern, which was very popular back in my day. I have a feeling it will be very popular in yours too. And now, I think I have something of yours. Sleeping dog? I found him when I was looking for my heart. He's your special thing, is he not? Just as the ship is mine. And now, we can both rest in peace. We ghosts were all trapped in the sea from all around the world. Some for hundreds of years and some for just a few. But something set us free. There is one very evil force who remains trapped in the water, and he will use other ghosts to try and bring about his freedom. You must be very careful, Megan. Give you a race. <laughs> Have news for me, Chloe? Yes, Ragnar. I have succeeded in befriending them. They do not yet know that I am a sea ghost. A good beginning. But you must not falter. While you and the other ghosts are free to roam the island, I am imprisoned here. Till we discover which of your new friends is the Seaborn. I will do my best, Ragnar. Do not fail me, Chloe. Do not betray your own kind. Looks like the newspaper story really worked. I'll have a smoothie, mate. Robbo. Hello. I can't believe you haven't noticed. Well, here we go again. <laughs> 